this fella over here I just released tonight and I uh, have been attacking him and uh, he has been uh, essentially uh, killing my troops al along the way and so what I'm going to do is um, go to my castle and show you that in this um, temple here, I have the ability to uh, revive, and I just uh, revived a bunch of my troops, and you have a certain amount of points, up to 2 million uh, of re reviving your troops, so I'm going to go back to the world, and I'm going to attack him again with my hero, and see if I can't get him. Uh, he started out, I think it was 1.3 or 1.2 power. Let's go ahead and attack him again. So, I have some level 5 and level 4 troops, and uh, I this is my uh, Tor's uh, hero with my troops here, and I'm going to attempt. Um, one of the things that will pop up is the war showing me uh, moving uh, towards this guy here and uh, I uh, can speed him up but it doesn't I don't really need to I have a number of 25% uh, and 50% speed ups but I don't really need to because it's such a short distance and I'm going to show you what this looks like so you get the results in your mailbox and Meanwhile, the animation still continues, but the little orange uh, number there is the numbers of troops that were killed, and the red ones are the ones that you killed. Um, so we're going to go back and look at the re results, and I did win. I got some food, and uh, but it's not a complete victory yet. I'm still winning um, with my hero, and... Uh, but we are still uh, having dead uh, men, so I'm going to go back to my castle and go back to the temple and uh, see if there's anybody that I need to revive. Yep. So these are dead guys here, and I'm going to have go ahead and revive them. Go back to the world. My troops have returned, and I'm going to continue attacking. And actually, what I'm hoping to do is is capture one of his heroes. Um, you'll see that I have this little icon above my castle that basically shows you that I have captured two heroes. And uh, if you have a really high level, like a, if your castle is a level 25, you have a prison 25, you can get extra... Uh, attack power um, and I'll show you that right now so being that I have a citadel that is a level 19 I now have a prison and you can click on the prison and uh, I have two prisoners um, one that both of them I have re renamed as to prisoner 213 and 214 and in, uh, you basically got about three and a half days basically before you can execute them or release them or whatever you want to do. Um, if you have uh, an alliance member that is is uh, contacting you about their uh, heroes, then uh, they have the ability to, you know, you could possibly barter or, or try to get their um, heroes released to them and that way you can sort of gain diplomacy or you can execute them and I have not seen what what uh, ability that gives you if you execute them um, but we will find out one of the things you can do is I click on view equipment here and I can see uh, what they have on them and uh, I'm guessing that once you execute them you get to have get those um, that equipment added to your items um, but that's 
only a guess right now. So let's go back. We uh, we attacked and uh, we uh, got another battle. And I got more food. Um, this time I have less dead. And so we are going to go back and revive our troops. And revive. These lower level three guys got taken out. And we will go back in and see if we can't finally get that stronghold done. I mean, excuse me, the, uh, and one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to add to this attack, um, the, uh, Wyvern, um, Ignis, the little, uh, dragon at the top there. And I think what I might do is also add a additional damage. No, I don't have any of those. Uh, increase attack. Yeah, it's only 250. 20% added. Not bad. And I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought these extra buffs because they're permanent. Um, you know, you got 100% uh, mass protection transportation it will increase your speed a hundred percent um gathering boost and resources for uh increases in training and construction research and res resource production so that seemed like a pretty good deal so i'm going to go back and deploy my troop here and send this dragon with it and it's pretty cool. <laughs> so uh, we got uh, this uh, dragon flying through here. If I speed them up, I'm going to go 25%. Of course, the, the whole animation goes a little bit faster. And uh, we'll check that out. Basically, it's the same kind of animation. I think. Depending on your your hero, it changes color or uh, there. So we got fire blast from the dragon, and then we have our trebuchet, and everybody's attacking. So less troops got killed that time. Go back and look at our attack we got a little bit more food still no they still have troops there so um, they have none survived so I'm gonna go back and do one more attack uh, and see if I can get anything after that and uh, just go to this and just tell it that I want to Mark all is red as well. Oh, I did capture a hero. So let's go check that out. So I think you can only capture one hero at a time, but I'm going to go and find that out. So now if I click on here, I have captured three heroes and I'm going to enter the castle and we will go check out that new prisoner. Um, and click on here, go to prison. So I have captured his or her level 30 and he's got a number of very cool equipment here, Eldred's file, which I don't have yet. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and label, change his name to prisoner.
to 15. So nobody, I mean, I guess they can see what the picture is, but uh, it's just kind of fun for me. <laughs> and let's see, the dragon is ready to give up some gold. So I'm gonna click on the dragon here and got a hundred gold. Sometimes it's 200, sometimes 300. Most of the time it's 200, and, uh, but recently I got a thousand. So that was pretty cool. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and revive our troops. These guys just can't take it. Revive. And now we're going to go to the world. And we are going to do our last attack here and see if we can get any more heroes. And attack. And do another dragon attack. And deploy. And I'll speed it up a little bit. So, actually, you know what? I haven't had, had any audio going here. Let's see if I can get that audio going. And we have got them. Oh. So, another fine attack. Complete victory. Let's see. I got another complete victory. All of my troops survived. And we have another notice. And I captured another. Another. Um, hero. So, let's go check it out. So, we go back to the castle. And we'll go to our prison. And we have level 30 Maria. View her equipment. Ooh, she's got Grand Staff, Necklace, and. So that's pretty cool. She had everything. He, he had everything on that uh, Maria there. And. So we see I have three hours and four, and excuse me, three days and four hours that the uh, prisoners are there. Now the more prisoners you have, the more possibility that they can do escape attempts. I don't know. Anyway, you can. I have a the possibility of capturing up to eight. I'm gonna go and attack one more time and see if I can find that last. Uh, let's see if there has any more. Um, heroes to uh, obtain. So let's go back to the world. And the troops have returned. One more attack. And we'll deploy. One of the ways you can sort of find out any kind of details is by clicking on the picture here and it looks like uh, he or she had eight heroes uh, four would be in the appointed I've captured two it's possible I can capture two more um, let's find out so yeah You captured an enemy hero. I like that. Oop, there's another announcement there. And we got some more some more food and resources. Alright, let's go back and see if we can go and check out the castle again and go to our 
prison and see who's there. Prison. Ah, all right, we got three here. So this is um, view his equipment here. He's got architects stuff here. All right, that's pretty cool. And so we'll send our troops back and we will go back and see if we can get any more uh, prisoners. All right, we're gonna attack. And this will be the last one, I think. Um, but this is really cool, um, being able to attack other characters and get their stuff is, uh, it was basically what war is about and that's why we're called War Brothers. But uh, I'm really enthused about this game. I've been playing it, I don't know, probably every hour, <laughs> except for when I'm sleeping. Um, this is really a, uh, a much more dynamic game uh, than any others that I've played. Um, so, we'll see what we get. Alright. Battle. Complete victory. And we captured another hero. Dang. Four heroes captured from the same uh, same castle, and the only way you could do that is if it was over uh, a uh, Citadel 13, and above is where you can capture uh, you get these hit heroes. So um, that's it for this time. Um, thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you later.